Hey, welcome to the CGS Biblecast. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. We're going to be moving on from the book of Deuteronomy. And so I think this is a this is an important landmark of, of the CGS Biblecast. We're, we're moving on to the next thing. So we're going to be in Joshua chapter 2 today. Don't pass over Joshua chapter 1 because Joshua chapter 1 is awesome. I mean, on the wall right behind me, behind this, this screen thing, there is a verse... Be strong and courageous, right? Do not worry. Be strong and courageous. So uh, that's in, found in Joshua chapter 1. You should read it. It's really good. But today we're going to talk about um, how God uses Rahab to achieve his mission. So let's get to it. Uh, let's read here. This is Joshua chapter 2, verse uh, 1. It says, Then Joshua secretly sent out two spies from the Israelite camp, at uh, Acacia Grove. He instructed them, scout out the land on the other side of the Jordan River, especially around Jericho. So the two men set out and came to the house of a prostitute named Rahab. She stayed there, uh, and they stayed there that night. So they take refuge in the house of a prostitute. Now that normally, if you were to say that, that would have not the greatest uh, meaning. But here, um, this begins a story of redemption. So, if you have a past you're not ashamed of, that you are ashamed of, I want you to pay attention to today's, today's message. You may have thought to yourself if, along the way, how could God love me? Maybe you aren't proud of the past or, or, who, or who you were then, but you've gotten things right. Maybe you have skeletons in your closet and you feel like they're holding you back from from living out your God-given purpose because of the things you've done, or possibly you've set, uh, you've had to enter into a pers personal relationship with Jesus, and um, because one of the reasons you're not, you haven't done that is because there's so many stories out there of what you've done, and you just are ashamed of it. Well, here's the good news: no matter how, no matter what you've done, or or how you've lived in the past, and maybe what you're currently involved in, God doesn't cares so much about that. He really cares about where you are now. God does love you, and He has big plans for you, for you, and He wants to move in every aspect of your life. This is what is true for, for Rahab in this story, the woman in today's reading. Uh, she's known as a prostitute, um, so that's not great. I mean, not, not the best of, of jobs to have, especially if you're trying to live righteously uh, or legally. Uh, but yet, yeah, the Lord is using her in a mighty and powerful way. Not only did she protect the two spies and allow uh, them to go back and, and reunite with the army that would eventually overtake the city that she was in, this, this also um, allowed her to leave her former way of, of living. She was married into the Israelites. She also moves on beyond that, and she's listed in the lineage of King David. In fact, she's listed in the lineage of Jesus Christ himself. How amazing is that? She has gone from living a shameful life of, of selling her body to being listed in the lineage right there with Jesus Christ himself. So, like Rahab, you are not labeled by your past. Jesus didn't die on the cross and, and rise again to save perfect people. He died because of the imperfection um, and his unwavering love for us. We're imperfect, but it doesn't matter because his love for us. So don't allow the enemy's lies about your past to keep you. Uh, don't allow those lies to keep you from the amazing things that God has for you in your life. You don't have to quit doing good things just because of your past. You can move on to that on from those that time and from those things and set yourself aside to be used for a greater purpose. God maybe has a wonderful, perfect plan for your life, and you don't have to let the past stop you from those things. So be encouraged. Redemption is key. Ask for forgiveness. Uh, ask, you gotta, you gotta repent. You repent of the evil things you've done. But if you do that, there is redemption, and there is grace, 
And there is a purpose and a plan for your life if you're willing to do those things. Give your heart to the Lord and watch what happens. It's going to be amazing. Start today by having an amazing day. Let's catch you guys later. Thank you.